Once we are ready to proceed mindfully, one of the next skills that we can use is one called TIP. And I love this skill. It's one of my favorite skills. And for those of you that have been in group with me before or have worked with me individually, you know that I have told you I love this skill because it works. And why it works is it is based in science. And we all love science, right? We love data, science, and things that tell us that skills really do work. And TIP is one of them. And so like Brie was talking about with STOP, what we first want to do is just observe what's going on in our body, take that step back, pay attention to our physiological sensations. Are our hands hot? Is our face hot? Is our chest tight? Right? We really want to pay attention to that and analyze the situation. And then when we're ready, we can proceed mindfully and use a skill like TIP. So this, Marsha loves her acronym, this is a multi-step skill, and we're gonna go through it one step at a time. So the first part of tip is temperature. And this is probably one of my favorite parts of my favorite skill. So what you wanna do is you want to get a bowl of ice cold water. You don't want this bowl of water to be below 50 degrees, but you do want it to be pretty cold. And the reason that you want it to be cold is you're kind of going to shock your system, which is going to lower your emotional response. So what you want to do is get that bowl of water and you want to dip your entire face into it. You want to make sure that this part of your face is what's going into the water, because what that is going to do is that is going to trigger what's called your mammalian dive reflex. This is a reflex that's in all animals and in humans, it's triggered when you put this part of your face into the water. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you stick this part of your face into the water for at least 30 seconds and you want to hold your breath. And when that triggers your, that mammalian dive reflex, what it's also going to then do is cue your parasympathetic nervous system and it's going to lower your heart rate and lower that emotional response. And so what might happen is that you might be at anxiety or anger or other difficult emotions at a 90 and then this temperature part might bring you back down to let's say a 50 or a 60. It's likely not going to get rid of the emotion, but it's going to lower it to a point where then maybe you can continue to proceed mindfully or continue to move forward. So again, we're dunking your face in water, we're triggering that mammalian dive reflex, which is then going to cue your parasympathetic nervous system, which is going to create a relaxation response and lower that heart rate. Pretty fascinating, huh? The next step is intense exercise. Now, this one can be really helpful because again, it is going to change your emotional response. So what you wanna do is short bursts of really intense exercise. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate that this for you today because I really don't wanna get sweaty. And what you can do is 30 seconds of jumping jacks, 30 seconds of burpees, sprinting as fast as you can down the driveway or down the street, please make sure you're safe, um, and engage in some sort of intense exercise for a short period of time. And again, that is going to trigger a different re emotional response and really help you get to a different space. The next step is paced breathing. Now, this is really important because often when we're in a crisis, we're not breathing, or at least we're kind of, you know, doing that, right? We might be breathing really, really quickly or really intensely, and that is only going to increase our emotional response. And so what we want to do is we want to do slow paced breathing, deep breaths into our belly. This also is going to trigger the parasympathetic nervous system, which is going to cue a relaxation response. And so what you might do is breathe deep in through the nose and then breathe slowly out your mouth. Some of you may have heard of four square breathing or box breathing, <clears throat> and that can be really helpful. So what that could look like is breathing in for four seconds, holding it for four seconds, breathing out for five or six or even seven seconds, and then allowing yourself to be still. You really wanna make sure that it's slow paced breathing because you want to start to lower that emotional response and really start to be able to ground yourself. And paced breathing can be really helpful with that. The last, so some of you may have seen TIP as just T-I-P, but there actually is a second P. And so what this P is, is paired muscle 
relaxation. And what I love about paced breathing and paired muscle relaxation is that you can do this when you're around your family and no one really knows, right? With T and I, obviously you wanna to go to a space where you have some privacy, which can be really, really helpful if you, when you give yourself that space to just use this skill. However, with paced breathing and paired muscle relaxation, you can do that anywhere. You can do it sitting at the dinner table, you can do it while you're in the family room or while you're even having a conversation. <clears throat> And so with paired muscle relaxation, what we want to focus on is sometimes we, we might start from the foot, the feet rather, and go all the way up to the head. But what you want to do is you want to tighten your muscles and then slowly release them. And you can do this throughout, <clears throat> excuse me, you can do this throughout your body. And so what can be really helpful, especially when you're around family, is maybe doing it in your butt, right? No one's going to see you if you do that. Or doing it in your hands or doing it with your legs. And so you want to, I'm gonna use my hands as an example, you want to come together and really tighten your muscles as hard as you can. You don't wanna hurt yourself or you know hurt your muscles, <laughs> but you do want to do it as tight as you can and then slowly, slowly release. And you're going to feel that tension release, which then sometimes what I like to do is I like to, when I'm releasing, also mindfully release that emotion. And so again, these skills can be used together and can be really helpful. And so tip is a skill that I guarantee will work. Sometimes people might say, well, I did temperature the first time and it didn't work. And what we encourage you to do is do it over and over again. You do kind of have to train your body with these skills. And so if it doesn't work the first time, do it again. And one of the nice things that you can do is you can do this in the privacy of your own home. Sometimes in treatment, you may have seen us encourage you to use ice packs, which also can work, putting an ice pack over um, this part of your face. However, I find that putting your head in the water is more effective. And this you can do in your room. Just grab that bowl, fill it with ice water, and do this. Um, and yeah, I love this skill. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have someone come in, and they're actually going to try out this skill for you. I think it's going to be fun. We're now going to do a live demonstration of tip, or at least the temperature part. And so we'd like to welcome our friend Ben. Hello. So if you've met Ben, Ben is the one that keeps our facility absolutely gorgeous, keeps the plants alive, and keeps you guys fed with snacks. And now he's going to teach you how to use this skill. So what we're going to do is the temperature part, like I said. So Ben, what you're going to do is you're going to dunk, dunk your face into the water, and you want to make sure that this part of your face is in that bowl. When you do that, you also want to hold your breath. What we ideally like people to do is try to hold their breath for 30 seconds. And when you're already feeling difficult emotions, you might not be able to do 30 seconds and that's okay. So what we're gonna try is maybe for 15 seconds and if you can get to 30, um, you know, that might make you um, feel better. So what I want you to do first is maybe think about something that's a little distressing. Um, I don't want you to send yourself into crisis, mm -hmm. but I do want you to think of something that maybe makes you feel stressful or stress, out <laughs> or anxious. Um, ready? I'm ready. Okay. okay. So now go ahead when you're ready and dunk your face in the water. Can you get a little more in there? <laughs> it is hard. <laughs> <laughs> so once you've wiped off your face, what I want you to end with is just three deep breaths, um, whatever works for you, either in through your nose and out through your mouth or in through your mouth and out through your mouth. And let me know when you're ready. How do you feel? I actually feel a lot less anxious. Really? I really do. Tell me a little bit about where you feel that or what that experience was like for you or any takeaways. Um, 
because of the health and you know uh, corona issues that are going on. Why I, we're I, here? I, yes, <laughs> I've been feeling very anxious about that. There's a lot going on around that, and um, and uh, that actually helped me relax. That amazing. Was, that, was amazing. that was amazing. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. I'm actually going to do that at home. <laughs> yes. That's what we want. <laughs> wow. Tip works, y'all. Thanks, Ben. It does. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it.